Hi everyone, my name is Grace. I'm the sister of the Holy Family of Nazareth. And this is my second opportunity and privilege to share some insights on the Saturday session. The first one was about identity. If you haven't had a chance to uh, reflect on that, I really invite you to do so. Uh, and the second reason for my invitation is because this little sharing based on the first one. When we think about identity, we also think about belonging. And today I'm going to share with you some stories about belonging. There are different circles of belonging which are important in our life. The belonging which I would like to share about is connected with our relationship with God and the people of God, which means you and me. But let me just start with the story. I will never forget my first visit to Blacktown Shopping Centre. It was my first week in Australia in January 2004. One of the sisters with whom I lived offered to take me window shopping. Hmm. I thought to myself, why would we shop for windows when there were no broker windows in our house? But once I actually understood what it meant, she led me to the third floor near Target and said, see you here in two hours. And then she left the place that she needed to go. I remember so strongly that the moment she left, I felt something I could have never replicated again. First, I was surrounded by total strangers. There was no single person who knew me. Absolutely no one knew my name or where I am from. Secondly, as I had just arrived from Poland, I could not communicate well in English. My English was at elementary level at that time. Third, there was no internet or mobile phone, any access to communicate with others or to seek help if, in case if I would get lost. I can still picture myself standing there and thinking which way to go and what to see and at the same time making sure I remembered how to return to the entrance of Target on time. I remember thinking, I do not belong to these surroundings. I do not have connections with people here. And I'm totally alone. And I have so much to learn. Greeted by endless, how are you? How are you? In every shop I entered, I pondered in my own language. Dlaczego oni się wszyscy tak interesują, jak ja się czuję? Może źle wyglądam, which of course translate, are they really interested in how I am? Maybe I don't look so well. And I thought, should I tell them the truth or just respond, I am okay? I bought absolutely nothing that day, as you can imagine and returned from this shopping trip feeling quite overwhelmed and exhausted, mostly by the thought of what kind of effort I needed to put into changing the feeling of not belonging into I belong here and I'm at home. Obviously, I was the one who had to make adjustments and make efforts, not other people around me who had stayed here before me. As years passed by, many of those awkward feelings disappeared and were replaced by new friendships, acquaintances, parishioners and co-workers I have met in many different places in my life and ministry in Sydney and beyond. When I think about this experience, I think about belonging to the community of believers, which we call church. Belonging to the church for many of us is very similar to my experience. It is finding yourself in the midst of 
places that you don't feel that you belong. Being surrounded by strangers in the place where people, despite they are speaking English, do not really even speak your language. Language of the church, sometimes it's so difficult to understand that we lost touch and feel that we don't really hear what people are saying. So I felt challenged and started to think, how do you make the journey from not belonging to the church to belonging to the church? How do you find the language? How do you make efforts? One of the little stories that I want to uh, tell you right now, it's the time of my transition from work from the Blacktown Parish, where I used to work for a long time, to Plumpton Parish, where I started to live and just simply go and pray. So it was already a couple of years ago when this transition happened, and I remember a couple of weeks of feeling totally lost in this new parish. And I remember being unnoticed and not noticing anyone in that parish. And I remember it finally. I sat there in the pews and I thought to myself week after week, I have to do something about that. So I challenged myself and every Sunday after mass, I would extend handshake to a stranger. That was before COVID, I could do it and say, hi. My name is Grace. What's your name? Hi, I have seen you here for a few weeks. Do you usually come for this mass? What's your wife's name? What's your husband's name? Oh, I can see you have three children. So I started breaking those barriers, which obviously encouraged other people to also come to me and say hi. So this hi was an opening door to the contribution that I could make to this community and at least make a small steps in making bridges of not belonging to belonging. A year after my arrival in Australia, when I was visiting my family in Poland, shortly before returning to Australia, I said spontaneously at some stage, it's time for me to go home which understandably made some of my family members upset. However, I also surprised myself that I started not only to call Australia home, but also felt that way. I felt that I belong. For me, home is a place where I am in a special relationship with others. The geographical surroundings might or might not be important, in similar way, like in our church. Home is created by love, care, and daily choices of act of kindness of those with whom I live and associate. Living in Australia home is created by knowing, no worries, mate, she will be right. Home is also created by heartaches and hardships. We all go through them. We go through them together with people to whom we belong. Relationships show us to whom we belong. And this belonging does not need to be limited to the bonds of blood. Our first belonging is feeling at home in your own heart. Belonging to the church, it's making our church home. And sadly, for many of us, it never happens and it's not our fault. Or maybe not always, because belonging is building those bridges from both ends. Belonging to the church, it's experiencing crying with those who cry, helping those who need our help, being helped, and being the one who receives love and compassion, being lonely and being most loved at the time. 
belonging means being able to give and receive. Belonging is also accepting the fact that others hurt us as much as we hurt them. Belonging is accepting loneliness, which life brings, as much as being fulfilled in our own life's mission. Belonging to the church is giving and receiving. What do you give? What are you receiving? What others give you? How does it happen? What do you do when you feel that you are not receiving anything? What do you do when you feel that you can give anything? How do you make those gaps filled in? Brenna Brown, American researcher on shame and empathy, summarizes true belonging so beautifully. I'm going to quote her now. True belonging is the spiritual practice of believing in and belonging to yourself so deeply that you can share your most authentic self with the world and find sacredness in both being a part of something and standing alone in the wilderness. True belonging doesn't require you to change who you are. It requires you to be who you are. I love that last sentence. I will read it again. True belonging doesn't require you to change who you are. It requires you to be who you are. Belonging to the church, to God's people, is belonging to Christ. It's finding who you are in His eyes. If you find yourself in the heart of Christ, you are the church which He wanted. You are part of His community. You are at home. You belong. Today, I invite you to a moment of gratitude for your circles of belonging, whatever they are. People, places, homes, churches, parishes, dioceses, workplaces, communities and name what I haven't named right now. I invite you also to a quick prayer for those who struggle and feel that they don't belong. Maybe you and I I called to build those bridges and make not belonging belonging. Talk to you next time. God bless.